Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sarah and today's video is going to be a little bit of how we celebrate um, bonfire night and what we do to help the animals cope with the amount of fireworks that go off around here by us and we're thinking this year there's probably going to be even more. So just a few little bits and bobs um, that we do to try and help them um, stay calm. Tear is really badly affected by um, fireworks so we try and do our best just to put her mind at rest and everything um if you are watching and you are not from the uk bonfire night is basically um a crappy fourth of july <laughs> um we have fireworks and uh bonfires and a uh, we do a stuffed guy um but none of that is happening this year with what is going on normally we go to a display but again that's not happening so I'm just doing um, like party food this evening for um, the kids and for us and Freddie's in school today because it's a Thursday and um, I will probably do like crafting painting wee bits with Ivy. She did some firework making in a playgroup yesterday so I'm just going to see if I can do a similar kind of thing today. Um, yeah. So just a really basic day in life. Hope you enjoy. It is currently half past ten in the morning, and somebody nearby has just set off a firework, and the cat has gone mental. Um, he's just ripped some of the wallpaper off the wall, which he has never done. Um, and he's just running around, jumping um, and scramming. He's caught me and Ivy. I don't really know why somebody would set a firework off in the middle of the day. Um, normally in the evening, obviously, we've got all the... I shut all the blinds and all the curtains and we have the TV on. And I turn the TV up quite loud. I don't know if you can hear him meowing. He's outside the door. Um, and we put here, um, she's got a couple of towels that we use for her if she's been in the river or if she's muddy or something. Um, and what I normally do is wrap her in one of those just to make her feel safer. So I was going to do a similar kind of thing with him later. But now that somebody has decided that half past ten in the morning is a really good time to sell for firework, um, I'm not really quite sure what to do because... Like I said, normally in the evening we have it like it's chilled and we just like letting the animals know that it's okay. But because it's during the day, the obviously Ivy is here and she's all hyper and excited. So I can't like get her to like calm down and let's sit quietly and let's shut the curtains. So I'm a bit annoyed about that. But yeah, I'm just trying to chill him out a little bit, like play with him. Um, to try and take his mind off it and calm him down a little bit. Hopefully that will wear him out. But I've just come upstairs to put the washing away. Um, and the windows are open in our room, so I don't want him to come in here. If they decide to let off another fireworks, it'll be even louder because the windows are open. So that's why I haven't let him in. <laughs> but, yeah, a bit annoyed about that, really. So the things we've got for later is we're going to do this for the kids. Um, obviously we'll be eating with them but they'll have the bonus chicken um, I don't know whether or not to do these yet or save them for another day but we've got these bits left over from Halloween so the wicked wings and the uh, mummy so what he's done is he's here um, actually you didn't. he's climbed up underneath down here really and he wants to sit here by Ivy doesn't well, he this is Ivy's legs and Mouse is here you don't want him to get out, do you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On our way back from pickup, going through the shortcut, which is really muddy and really overgrown, because despite me reminding him every day to go for a week before he leaves school. Inevitably, halfway home, he says he wants a wee. Pardon? There's not lots of spiders. So, we're nearly home. 
We've had to give it a bit of a brisk walk. There you are. Yeah. I can see you. Where? <laughs> no, you need no way in that. <laughs> oh, wait, that's mine. Yeah, I'm going to put them on you now. Stand up then and I'll put your earmuffs on. sparklers now so Mark has taken the kids um, for a walk around the estate for them to look at the fireworks and I've come back in with Mouse who's a little bit nervous but Tia is the one who has it the worst so she's got her teddy and she's got her towel on and she's lying by me which she never normally does which is why you know that she's really nervous um, there's been loads of big loud ones quite close to us um, I probably have a cuddle now. So, um, yeah, the kids have just gone for a walk around the estate to see all the different fireworks. And I know, darling. Um, so I'm just staying in here with Tia and Mouse, um, just in case they get a little bit um, upset. As I said, Tia is not good at all. She's breathing quite heavy, aren't you, darling? Eh? Hey? So, um, once I've finished filming this, I'll just turn the telly up a little bit. Um, so, that's quite loud and quite close. Um, so that uh, it dulls the sound for her. Um, and I'll just go around closing all the curtains and stuff. It's alright, sweetheart. It's alright. Bless her. Look at her little face. Look at her. It's alright. Licking, licking your lips is a sign of stress, isn't it, darling? Hey? It's all right, Dennis. And then Mouse is just sat under there at the minute. I think he's doing better than her. Aren't you, darling? You keep coming over to check on her, so you must know. You must be able to sense that she's not happy. Don't you, darling? Hey? <laughs> hey? It's all right. And that some have even talked about it with the president himself. That obviously is, is something that's way off into the future, but it's an indication that they're starting to feel like perhaps they're running out of time inside the Trump campaign chambers. All right, Tim McConnell at the White House. Thanks so much. And, and uh, let's discuss this. And, and before we do, I just want to make sure people out there understand. We have been saying for weeks that this election was in all likelihood not going to be decided on election night, uh, that there were going to be tens of millions of vote-by-mail ballots mm -hmm. that would need to be counted, and in order to do so responsibly, it was going to take some time. We've been told that by Pennsylvania, we've been told that by Arizona, we've been told that by Nevada election officials, and that is exactly what we're seeing. Turns out we're in a pandemic, and because of that, this is a pandemic election. Things move more slowly, but more importantly, people, a lot of people, millions of people, took advantage of new laws 
in their states, including So he's gone up onto the stairs now. Um, so I'm just going to do the blinds in here. Um, just quickly, we did have our party food, but I couldn't film it because Ivy decided that she wanted to be naked for the duration of the party. Um, I mean, it wasn't meant to be that kind of party, but obviously that's what she wanted to do. So I couldn't film any of it, but um, they did enjoy it all. Um, and yeah, so that's why there isn't any evidence of our party, but we did have it, I promise. So what um, I will probably do tonight that I have done every year is um, basically I will stay up um, with, well I say them, it's only been Tia until this year, but um, Mouse is following me around where he's normally at this time of night, he's starting to have his sleep. So he's obviously a little bit nervous as well. It's all right, darling. Um, but I will stay up until the fireworks have stopped. Um, because, sorry, I'm just doing the washing. Um, in this particular neck of the woods, they, right, don't jump, jump in the washing machine. They like to have fireworks going off from, they started about four o'clock. It's now five to six. They like to set them off until at least 10 p.m. and that's on a normal night. Um, fireworks get set off here most nights from sometimes as early as July all the way through to like March. It's really infuriating and I don't know why it happens but it does every year but on a specific nights like tonight and um, they will generally be set off until um, midnight. So, um, I will try and stay up for as long as I can. If not, then I will just like fall asleep. That's empty donut. He's just trying to get in the wash basket, but it's now empty. Um, if I feel tired, then I'll just have to fall asleep on the sofa. Um, just because she and Tia get so stressed out um, and it's not nice. And these people clearly don't care about um, animals that do get distressed. Right, out your camera, otherwise you'd be stuck in there. Animals that do get distressed or um, children and elderly people, people with PTSD, they just don't seem to care around here. Um, and the attitude is very selfish. And the kind of people that do it are the ones that if you say anything, you get, oh, I've got all dark. It's because there's no light on up here. Um, they're the kind of people that if you do, like, calmly say, oh, do you mind, like, stopping around 7, 8 o'clock, which in the winter is a reasonable time, because it's getting dark at, like, 5, um, you get hit with a torrent of um, foul language and abuse. They're those kinds of people. So, yeah. So I'm just sitting down to finish watching CNN, because it's election day, or it's supposed to be, but still nothing's happened. So yes, I shall end the video here. So please give it a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!